Hey, it is Aliki and today I will provide you with the perfect two-week itinerary to Peru. Peru is such an amazing country and there is so much to see and do, so it is really, really hard to squeeze everything in two weeks, but hopefully my itinerary will guide you and help you. So really, from my experience, travelers uh, divide in two groups. One group starts in Lima and ends in Cusco, and the other group of people start in Cusco, and they finish their Peru trip in Lima. So everything that I'm going to be offering you, really, you can just do the other way around. I personally started in Lima, and I do recommend starting in Lima because Lima is the capital. So having a walking tour there, doing another tours there will really, really help you to learn about the culture, the country. And I think that's just going to make your further trip even better. So in Lima, I definitely recommend allocating two days because it's a quite big city. There is so much to see and do and just the vibe is amazing. And I personally really loved Lima, so I definitely recommend at least two days. Then from Lima, you make your way to Huacachina Desert, which I think is one of the most fun places in Peru. There you have to do two things. Go on a crazy buggy ride and try sandboarding. So Huacachina Desert actually can be a perfect day stop, so just one day for that. Um, but if you want like this really unique experience of staying in the desert, staying in the oasis, then you can actually stay a night there. So Huacachina Desert, we try to make it as a day trip to save time, but if we do have more time, I would allocate two days just so you can spend the night in the desert. Whichever way you decide, the next stop is Arequipa. So this uh, ride is going to be quite long, at least eight hours, so I highly recommend using a night bus uh, because night buses in Peru are amazing. They are, the system is in place, they are comfortable, and they are safe. And the best part, you're going to save time and you're going to save money because obviously you don't have to book a hotel for that night. In Arequipa, you will definitely need a day to go on a tour, to explore the city. And also Arequipa is like this amazing foodie place. There are so many cool restaurants, vegetarian friendly restaurants, lots of amazing restaurants that offer like local dishes, but like with a interesting twist. So I definitely think Arequipa is like the foodie paradise. So I would allocate at least two days because I really loved Arequipa. But if you're short on time, then one day is going to be enough to go on a tour and to try some amazing food. The next stop for me would be Colga Canyon. I loved it. I recommend it. It's so beautiful. It's so my amazing. And those people who love hiking and trekking, it's like the perfect place. So I think if you are a nature lover, if you love hiking and trekking, then definitely add Colga Canyon to your list. If you're not really into that, then better save some days more for Arequipa and then do Arequipa for two or three days. If you do decide to go on this trekking trip, then you definitely need to allocate at least two days for Calca Canyon, Calca Canyon because that is the minimum of what you need to track the canyon. You can also do three and four day tours, but like the two is the minimum. So I want to warn you, it's not just like a chill nice hiking trip, it's a hardcore hiking trip. It was the hardest hike I have ever done. Like it was tough, but it was an absolutely incredible experience it tested me mentally and physically and also of course it's such a beautiful place so beautiful views um, so i definitely definitely recommend it because it's going to be one of those amazing life experiences then from arequipa again ideally using the night bus you make your way to puno Puno is this really special place where local people have created these floating islands on the Lake Titicaca. So they live on these islands and you can go there and actually spend a night on a floating island on a Lake Titicaca. So here I would summarize that you could do Puno as a day trip if you're really, really short on time. So from your way uh, from Arequipa to Cusco, you stop in Puno or you can actually spend two days there and then you can spend a night on these floating islands on the Lake Titicaca. The next and final stop is Costco that includes Machu Picchu. The first decision is deciding on how many days you're going to spend on Machu Picchu because I assume that probably Machu Picchu is the reason why you're going to Peru in the first place. I mean, it's a must visit place. Um, so there are several ways how to get to Machu Picchu and you need to decide which one you want to do. So if you decide to go with a train or bus, you need to allocate at least two days for Machu Picchu because you will spend the day getting there and then the next day, probably in the morning, you're going to go see Machu Picchu and then you're going to be getting back. So really you need, you know, you need time to travel there, visit Machu Picchu and get back. So you will need two days for that minimum. And then you have this really amazing 
a way how to go, uh, how to get to Machu Picchu and visit Machu Picchu is by doing Inca Trail, which is incredible. Like it's just a very unique experience or do a Salcanta trek, which is a bit more challenging hike. So obviously I did that. So I always have to pick the hardest hikes. Um, so yeah, but Salcanta trek is amazing also because the trail is incredible and it's such an adventure and it tests you again. <laughs> I feel like Peru was a lot of testing myself uh, physically and mentally with these long, hard hikes. But no, trust me, Salcanta trek wasn't that bad. It was really enjoyable. It's very beautiful. So I definitely highly recommend doing Inca trail or Salcanta track to get to Machu Picchu because I think that's just going to make your Machu Picchu experience like so you know more special. I have like three videos and so much information on my blog and YouTube channel about uh, Machu Picchu of different ways how to get there, the Salkantai trek, the you know guide about what you need to know. Uh, so yeah if you're if, you, if you're planning your Machu Picchu visit then I highly recommend checking out my channel and my blog. And of course, I have a videos on so many other locations in Peru. So if you are planning specifically your stays in different cities, then also I have a lot of information on that on my channel and on my blog. So for Inca Trail, the minimum, I think, are two days. But like that's going to be so rushed. For Inca Trail, you need at least three days. Um, same with Salcantay. I think you can do Salcantay trek in three days. But again, it's going to be so rushed. You need at least minimum four days for that. So three or four days you need to allocate to Machu Picchu if you have decided, you know, to trek uh, through these trails to Machu Picchu. So in Cusco, ideally you have a three days because you need one day to explore the Cusco city itself. Then you need one day for the Rainbow Mountains. I mean, that was one of the best day trips I've ever done. Like it was, it was so magical and wonderful and i highly recommend and that trip you need to spend the whole day because it's like a four hour drive there and you obviously spend some time there and then you have to get back so for rainbow mountains you need to allocate the whole one day and then of course ideally you have a day for you know to explore the area around cusco there are so many wonderful inca sites and i think it's so valuable to learn about these things before you go to machu picchu so ideally you have a week for cusco because then you can spend four days uh, for Machu Picchu and then you can spend three days in Cusco. But if you are really short on time and you have to do this, you know, really, really tight, then two days for Machu Picchu doing by train or bus and then one day in Cusco. Well, and this is where the two week itinerary ends. Then probably from Cusco, you're gonna take a plane or bus to Lima. And from Lima, you're gonna fly back home because Lima is the best, you know, airport for the international flights. So you can see how this is why I made a comment at the beginning that if you want to start in Cusco, you want to start with Machu Picchu, then literally everything that I mentioned, you can do just the other way around. So you start in Cusco, you make your way to Puno, you go to Arequipa, then you stop in Huacachina Desert and you finish your trip in Lima. So to quickly summarize, you will fly into Lima, then you're going to spend two days in Lima, you're going to make your way to Huacachina Desert, where you're going to do it as a day trip, or you can spend the night and stay there two days, then you're going to make your way to Arequipa, where if you are doing Arequipa and Colca Canyon, then you will need to have one day for Arequipa and two days for Colca Canyon. But if you don't do Colca Canyon, then you can stay in Arequipa longer. Then from Arequipa, you make your way to Puno, where again, you do it as a day trip or you, 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 know, you spend a the night there and then it's going to be two days there. And then you make your way to Cusco. And then, of course, as I said, depending how many days you allocate to Machu Picchu, ideally you spend three days in Cusco and then for Machu Picchu you have two or four, four, two or four days. And here I want to add two comments if you do have more time, if you are spending three or four weeks in Peru. If you want to have some quality beach time, even surfing, then I definitely highly recommend going to Mancora. Mancora is higher up in the north, so probably when you land in Lima, before you do, this loop that I've been telling you about, you can make your way up to Mancora, have a bit of a beach time, surfing time, and you know, then make your way back to Lima and start the loop that I was talking about. And another thing, if you have more time, is definitely a trip to Amazon. I did Amazon in Ecuador, that's why I wasn't doing it in Peru. But if you are flying just to Peru, you're just having a vacation in Peru, then of course, Amazon is like a thing you have to do when you visit South America in general. So Peru, of course, have a tourism on spot. Um, they have so many amazing tours and like this whole reserve where you can go and experience Amazon is amazing. I've heard so many good recommendations. So I highly, highly recommend you to add a visit to Amazon in your Peru travel plans. 
Well, I hope this video is going to help you plan your Peru trip better. And if you're planning just in general your trip to South America, then I highly recommend you to checking out my video about best places to see and visit in South America. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.